numbers. See children, the decimal system, which is based on the groups of ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Groups means when we make ten ones, which is equals to one, one ten. So ten tens, which makes the hundred. This is you have learned classes, which makes ten ones is equals to one ten and ten tens that is equals to one hundred. Now we are going to learn some more. Things. Ten hundreds that is equals to thousand. It is a four digit number. We are learning about the four digit number. The four digit number is one zero zero zero. So now we got the four digits. Yes, four digit number. In this four digit number. Now look at the screen. There is a four-digit number. One, two, three, four. This four-digit number can be uh, shown in different ways. The number one way is by using the blocks. See, by taking one thousand blocks. One thousand blocks. How many are there? One. And two hundred blocks. Hundred blocks are two. And ten blocks are four. And one blocks are three. So now this can be represented as. One thousand. How many thousand blocks? One thousand two hundred four tens and three ones. That becomes forty-three. Now we will read from left to right. That is one thousand two hundred forty-three. Second way is one two three four. This can be used by by using the place value chart. The place value chart is the digit three we are placing on number. The digit three we are placing on the ones place, and the digit four we are placing on the tens place, and the digit two we are placing on the hundred place, and the digit one we are placing on the thousand place. Now again we read it as one thousand two hundred forty three. By this when this can be drawn by, but this can be done by using the place value chart. Is a standard form. That is standard form is one thousand two hundred and forty-three. This one, two, three, one, two, four, three number can be represented in the standard form as one thousand two hundred and forty-three. After one, we are placing the comma because two, four, three that is a unit place and the one is in the thousands place. Okay, children. Now. By writing in the words. Now we got a words. One thousand two hundred forty-three. We are writing one thousand two hundred forty-three in words. Last the last way is the fifth way. That is by using the counting board. See counting board. Now in the ones place we got three. So we are putting the uh, three counters in ones. One block, ones block, and the four red color counters in the tens block, and two green color counters in the hundred blocks, and one yellow color counter in the thousand blocks. Again, this we can be represented as one thousand two hundred and forty-three. Yes, children. Now one, two, four, three. We won't read that number as one, two, four, three. Now we will read it as. One thousand two hundred and forty-three. Uh, till now, we have learned about the smallest to three-digit number. What is the smallest to three-digit number? It is hundred. One zero zero. Now, now the smallest to four-digit number is. One thousand. That is one zero 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 three zeros. Now it is the smallest four-digit number. Now the greatest three-digit number was nine hundred and ninety-nine. Now we are coming to the four digits. Now the greatest four-digit number is nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine. When we add one more digit to this nine thousand nine hundred and ninety-nine, what will happen? It becomes ten thousand. It becomes ten thousand. Now again, it is going to be a five-digit number. 
now we have learned about the five different ways to how to represent the four digit number so now it is an example that 1006 how do we how do we represent 1006 and 4567 now we are representing this in the value chart this is a place value chart how we will place it as this is a place value chart 